Well, it's D-Day for Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. The Delhi High Court will today pronounce the order on his plea challenging the arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the Liquor Gate case and the subsequent ED custody. Following two days of hearings on March 27th and April 3rd, the Delhi High Court had reserved its verdict in the plea. Kejriwal is presently in the judicial custody till the 15th of April after he was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate on the 21st of March. Subsequently, he was remanded to six days of ED custody, which was later extended by four more days. On the 1st of April, he was remanded to judicial custody for 15 days. So the verdict on his plea will be pronounced by Justice Swarna Kanta Sharma shortly. Well, in the arguments in the court, Arvind Kejriwal's counsel had said that the arrest was politically motivated and was unwarranted, particularly before the polls. The Delhi Chief Minister had also argued that the arrest was meant to disable him from active role in politics and hence impinges on the level playing field. In fact, the Enforcement Directorate in response had called Kejriwal the kingpin and key conspirator of the case. It argued that Arvind Kejriwal can't claim immunity from arrest citing elections, saying if the Amadmi party goes behind bars, if he commits a crime, Kejriwal cannot claim immunity on grounds of the elections. In fact, the Enforcement Directorate also said uh, that money trail in the case has been detected, but money cannot be found as it has already been spent. My colleague Priyank joining us on the broadcast with the details. Priyank, uh, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal going on to say that the arrest was politically motivated, raising questions on the central agency. The central agency, though, had said that he is a key conspirator in the case. Uh, tell us what's expected in the court and the arguments that have been made by both sides. Uh, see, uh, the previous argument, it was uh, quite uh, uh, in detail. Arguments were heard from both the sides where the ED had also found its uh, uh, rebuttal where they said that uh, Arvind Kejriwal bail should not be granted and uh, the co question of the arrest which is being uh, uh, you know, pressed before the court should not come up because Arvind Kejriwal did not, uh, you know, oppose was a, a judicial remand when the second hearing in the uh, trial court happened. So that was a basic line of argument. The enforcement director very clearly stated that uh, his role was quite clearly seen uh, because the formulation of policy and the kind of meeting which happened clearly establishes that the, the increase in the percentage of uh, the revenue which could have been gotten by uh, these uh, uh, these companies uh, which was increased from 5 to 12 percent uh, could have gone in the pocket of uh, Amani party. Uh, the ED had also mentioned that uh, the alleged bribe amount of crore rupee uh, was the key factor because of which uh, this policy was uh, tweaked and uh, the document were also given before the policy could come in in favor of these companies. And the enforcement report also mentioned that 45 crore rupees of the alleged amount was uh, misused in the election campaign of Goa, uh, which led to the arrest of these individuals. We know Vijay Vijay Nair was considered to be the key conspirator, and it was also clearly stated in the statement of N D Gupta, the party's uh, national tre uh, treasurer and who is also a member of the parliament, that uh, whatever money could have been spent by the party should only be known to the party's national convener and the state uh, convener of the party who was the in charge of the election campaign. Campaign in Goa. So that uh, clearly amounted to uh, pressure on the Arvind Kejwal to uh, come out and give his explanation because the enforcement directorate, when they tried to question him, we know it for the fact that multiple summon were missed by him. Uh, when the enforcement directorate reached to his team, he was non cooperative And uh, during the seven to eight days of police remand, which the AD had, I beg your pardon, in the 10 days, uh, he was not cooperating. Uh, but uh, one of the key factors which can uh, matter in today's uh, you know order uh, is uh, okay. the statement which was made by Arvind Kejwal. Okay. where he said that I don't have any issues with you keeping me under custody. 